What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so... Um... My Xbox brethren <laughs> were super, super, super excited. When Phil Spencer walked out on the stage at the Game Awards 2019 and he announced the Xbox Series X console, which is their ninth generation console. And he showed video which was to be in game or in engine footage showing the capabilities of the next Hellblade. Uh, two. So they, they so this basically was like a Hellblade two a launch a, a, a launch trailer or announcement trailer whatever you want to call it right. Um, they were excited and they hit the earwaves. Xbox is going to take over. PlayStation is done. They're going to be selling their lampshades again and all that other stuff, right? And then to crush their hopes, dreams, and aspirations, Digital Foundry comes out with a video that analyzes that announced video. And they said, well, you know, basically there's some things going on here that we're not too sure about. And we don't think that you guys should really be getting excited about this because this doesn't say anything, right? So, <laughs> and then that caused outrage through the Xbox community. People were mad, were upset. They did not take it because the PlayStation community was, you know, was just taking them to school with that one. You know what I'm saying? And. It, it, it just was the regular console war stuff, right? So I thought it was the opportune time <laughs> for me to hit the airwaves of, as well and pose this question to my Xbox brethren. Because, well, all right, let me, let me just read you the, the, the tweet first that I put out there. I said, Digital Foundry said that Hellblade 2 trailer has a lot of elements in it they believe are not in game or fake. Quote, it looks nice, but says little, unquote. So here's the crux of my tweet. So Xbox brethren, is Digital Foundry still your de facto source for visual implementation grading, right? So I put that out there and people within the community automatically took that as me siding with Digital Foundry and, and loving their, their analysis and stuff and all that, right? And that couldn't be the farthest thing from the truth. I was basically making a case that, hey, Xbox brethren, do you think, like your boy MM2K, that the community puts too much weight on what Digital Foundry thinks? Do they hold, do, do, do they hold a mantle to what comes out of their mouths too much? You know what I'm saying? And I got to say this, some people in the community get it. Like for instance, I got a lot of responses from Xbox brethren that, that felt some type of way that was real emotional. You know what I'm saying? They, they, what's that song emotional by Carl, Carl, uh, Carl Thomas. <laughs> they, they took it back to the bad boy air. They was feeling emotional, but some get it. And I had to apologize to, for instance, to K Mega. Um, Kate Mega had put out a tweet echoing my same sentiments that why are you guys putting so much weight to Digital Foundry but I thought he was referring it to me so you know I'm glad I cleared the air and I have to admit Kate Mega got it Kate Mega got it here's why I say that we as a community put too much weight to Digital Foundry and before I get into that, there's this falsehood that I was getting from my Xbox brethren. Again, they're so, uh, so emotional. <laughs> they own a Carl Thomas kick and they don't think. And it, 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 it drives me crazy. It's like dealing with 51st dates with y'all. Y'all feel like a bunch of Drew Barrymore clothes to me. Y'all don't get it. And they were sitting there echoing this false sentiment, hey. MM2K, you're just upset because Digital Foundry says something about Stadia. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Let me take you to Exhibit A. 
This right here is my janky ass video from when? July 2018. July 18th to be as a matter of fact. 2018. I'm going to leave a link to this video below where I tell you basically in the video that Digital Foundry has too much weight in this community. You know what I'm saying? And I give them something that I call the STFU award. The shut the up award. Because we listen to them too much. They have too much weight. What spawned this particular video was, at the time, a former AMD employee came out and was speaking about um, the graphical capabilities that we should expect to see this upcoming generation. They had talked about this in 2018. Digital Foundry had the gall to come out after that and follow up with this guy said to say, well, you know what? We don't really need true 4K60. I would be okay with upscale 4K as long as we got 60 frames per second. Meanwhile, they predicated their whole career on stuff like Grassgate. You know what I'm saying? Talking bad about PlayStation because it's super sampling. And then, in, in, in lines of the Xbox One X launch, talking about how great that was, but nobody was focusing on what type of titles were coming out to show that graphic fidelity, because like we always say, the $200 box, which, is, which was the PlayStation 4 Slim, slightly after release, released a game that looked better than anything at the time on the $500 box. <coughs> God of War, right? They have kept our eye off the prize so much, and we put so much weight into the silly, stupid stuff that they focus on, that I'm now in the realm like my whole boy, Next Gen 720, who in this video, that just dropped him and leave a link to his video as well, he tells you, I'm not falling for the okie doke, Next Generation. Who cares what Digital Foundry thinks? Who the hell are they? It's like if someone gives you a sandwich and you bite into it, and you're like, oh, I think that's good, but here, you to the left of me, take a bite and just tell me what you think. Before I give the city praise. It's, it's asinine as my brother Bear was, would like to say. It's asinine. It makes no sense. We in general hold too much weight to Digital Foundry. Despite their flip flopping all over the place nature. That makes no sense. So it has nothing to do with Stadia. The crap that they say about Stadia opposite of the true facts that I was able to play test myself just adds, it's, it's just icing on the cake. You know what I'm saying? But the cake was already there. The cake was already baked, okay? Look, I said this last night on Scram Punks. The, it, was, it was aired the night prior to me recording this. I'll leave the link to Scram Punks as well. It was an excellent show. You know what I'm saying? Here's my thoughts overall on Digital Foundry, okay, and this video. There may be some things in this video that they do say is true regarding, you know, certain assets not being, you know, in game to, in their opinion, it's too perfect, but it might be true. But if it's stunning to you, if you were impressed by this release, if you were impressed by this footage, if you're happy with the fact that Xbox now was announcing things early to let you know what's coming down the pike, who gives a damn what they think? Why do we still need Digital Foundry, like I said earlier, to still bite into our sandwich to tell us if it's good? We got eyes. Use our own goddamn ass. We don't need to, their talks on polygons and compute units to keep our eyes off the prize any longer. They hold too much weight. And big up to my homie King Thrash. I'm going to say this before I roll. Big up to the homie King Thrash. I may not wholeheartedly agree with how he got here, in regards to Digital Foundry. But we got to the same destination nonetheless. I always say, we may have been on different buses, Thrash, but we ended up at the same destination. Digital Foundry, I'm, I'm going to parse no words here. Digital Foundry or frauds? The frauds. And King Thrash helped expose that. Now again, I'm talking about Digital Foundry, the company, the entity. I don't know these guys, John and the other. I don't know these guys personally. But the entity that has become Digital Foundry or frauds, I just told you how. They had the audacity to say, well, we don't need full, full 4K 
60, as long as we get 60 frames per second. But anybody that is short of the true 4K, you pull out the monocle and got to criticize them to, he to high heaven. Y'all tore Microsoft apart for lacking an extra 180p, all generation, or most of the generation. That's all y'all talk about is polygons and compute units, and you got the audacity to say, well, we don't need true 4K, and you only said that because people stopped paying attention to you, okay? Then people started to pay attention to you again, and here comes the homie King Thrash with his video about Gears. Now, I may not agree with King Thrash what he had to say in that video, but his actions prove that you guys are fraudulent as an entity. How did he do that? Because once he released his video, y'all didn't respond with logic. Y'all responded by looking at the Patreon and bending the knee. <laughs> so again, he in a roundabout way proved why we shouldn't pay no attention to them, right? And I wanna say this as well. This is why I say, Stop putting so much weight with them. Not just the Xbox community, but Xbox in general. Stop having someone else bite into your sandwich and explain why it's good. I get it. You want to get people critical of the system to proclaim that it's good in, in hopes that that'll help propel the mind reach. But y'all don't, this is what y'all don't understand. This is the console war mind state. You know what I'm saying? Whether the console war is over or not, the mind state isn't gone. And in the console war mind state, it's not about logic. It's about someone emotionally being invested with a company or an entity and them damage controlling or using talking points or using spin to validate their purchase. So regardless of what's logical, if they didn't buy your product or services, they're not going to validate it regardless what the facts are. Okay. And Digital Foundry is just going to go where the wind blows them, financially, <laughs> in, in most parts, financially and as far as recognition. If it's cool to say cool stuff about Xbox, they'll do it. If it's not, or if it's going to hurt the, the pockets, if it's going to hurt the coin, they're not going to say it, okay? So, Xbox, as the richest company in the world, you should recognize that. With all the wood buffing that Digital Foundry did for Sony, not once, to my recollection, did Sony call Digital Foundry and say, hey, we got this product, we need y'all to validate it for us. Come to our campus and validate it from our campus. They've never done that. But time after time, time after time, you'll see the richest company in the world going to these group of bozos. Yeah, I said it. To validate their product and services. It's absurd. And y'all put so much weight on them. That now it's biting you in the rear end. So do better. Think smarter. Like Next Gen 720 always says. Be the behemoth that you are. You don't need them. You didn't need them during the 360 generation. You overcumbered your competition. By being superior in all the key features. That's what did it. You didn't need Digital Foundry. You didn't need them and, and their Patreon chasing behinds. You didn't need that at all. You put weight in your own products and services in your own words. Just like how Sony did this generation and why they're on top. Okay? So, be the behemoth that you are. That's the meaning of those words. Hey, if you listen to my bro Next Gen 720, you, you might make it somewhere. <laughs> you might you might do a little bit better, Microsoft. Stop trying to resist it, baby. It is what it is. But it ain't with Digital Foundry, Chief. Period. And that's it from your boy, MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, follow the links below to find me and my other content. I rock out with the Broadband Bullies. I rock out with the PNTS Network. I rock out with the Hard Knock Digital Culture. And I'm also on the new, fastly growing platform, the Stadia Dosage. We got a couple of big interviews lined up with prominent figures within this growing community. You know what I'm saying? So stay tuned for that. With that being said, look, man, I hate to be blunt, but sometimes you just got to be frank, baby. Stop having another man or woman bite into your sandwich to tell you that it's good. 
With that being said, you have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.